Welcome back to Transport Fever 2 Megalomania. Uh, last time I was uh, working on uh, plumbing in a line from Fort Lauderdale up to Boston. And, well, we've just got the one stop here, one stretch left from Winston-Salem to Boston. And, well, uh, I guess it's probably time to get stuck in. But before I do, I'm going to do something that resembles planning and also uh, reconnect this right uh, so uh, I need to uh, get up Boston's over here so I need to come through here I'm gonna come through this uh, pass here then I'm going to wind through this valley this way and I think I can come out this valley and then come in and attack it from, say, this angle over here. And then that gives it a decent angle of attack for El Paso and Victorville and uh, possibly an express line across to Louisville. Yeah, it probably makes sense to have an express line across to Louisville at the top there. Okay, now... Uh, that means uh, I need to, uh, well, build some track. Now, it looks rather a lot like I'm not going to be going up and over the pass here. Uh, it looks rather a bit too steep. Um, yeah, it does seem to be a bit steep. Uh, well, that road's in the way anyway. Yeah, too much slope. Yeah. So... I'm going to end up uh, having to. I'm going to end up going through. Now, now that's kind of interesting. We just. Well, what if we make a cutting here? Well, that makes a freaking canyon. So no, that can be a tunnel. Um, right. I'm not convinced on that. Oh, that's gone, and... Uh, yeah. Okay, so we do it that way. We get one continuous tunnel, and I think that's better. Okay, now I'm not so much sure I like this... Uh, uh, station throat here being in a tunnel but I think we can make that work okay so uh, f so if I back this up here just so it just comes out okay good now uh, yeah I need to complete this yep okay now uh, I don't need any crossovers here because this is a through station. That looks weird. Huh. Well, anyway. Um, right. Now, over here, I was going to come down this valley. So, uh, well, I think I'm going to back this up just a hair and then I should be able to get a fast well, if I back it up just a little bit more I should be able to get a fast curve uh -huh. there we go that's a fast curve now does that line up yeah it lines up close enough I think okay now where's the there it is uh, okay you know, sometimes I wish uh, we had a uh, a planning tool where we could uh, uh, draw out where we want the track to go, adjust all the grades and all of that, and then click build. Um, you know, all at once. But given the uh, performance issues that uh, uh, long bridges have when you. Uh, start laying them out. I'm not sure that that's such a critical uh, innovation to have. Okay, so 
Uh, come through here, probably a tunnel, and then down through that side. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. So we come through here. Um, why is that doing a cutting? Okay, that's a little bit saner. Uh, right. Uh, okay. We got that. Uh, I suppose you're going to fix that road now. Well, yeah, I don't want to forget about it. Uh, okay. No. Yeah. So that looks hideous, but, you know, it's a road, so, you know. Uh, I've seen many a road in real life that look just as hideous. Right. Well, uh, this is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, then again, I have 420 million in the bank, so... Uh, so I get another tunnel if I stay level here. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Uh, right. Yeah, because that is uh, fairly significant. Uh, right, but that gives us a fairly direct line through here. Uh, right. So, now if I come around here, uh, that one, I'm going to make into a tunnel. Um, right. Uh, I was going to make it a cutting, but I decided not to. Okay. Now, I mean, there's not enough tunnels on this map, after all, and tunnels are cool. Now, uh, what have we got going on here? We've got tracks. Yes. Okay, now let's head over to Boston here. Uh, right, so I wanted to be able to... Yeah, where's the track coming from? Over there. I wanted to be able to head off toward El Paso and across the top and over this way. Okay, so that means uh, I'm going to put a terminus station here, and I think I'm going to need three tracks ultimately. So I'm going to I'm going to. Uh, Put it on about that angle over here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's about right. Okay. Now, uh, obviously, I'm going to plumb in the local transit. Uh, what do you know? I got that lined up just the way I wanted it to. Okay. And over here, I'm going to need one of these and one of these. Right. Okay. You need to put a Dewey in as well. Uh, right. So the Dewey can go there. And you need to tramify everything. Right. Well, that looks like tramification done. Uh, I suppose you're going to put those electric numbers you used last time on there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I am. I'm going to put three of them. Why three? Because it just seems right. You, you mean you don't have any actual official type plan thing involved? No, why would I? That'd be too easy. Uh, right, okay. Now, uh, this is going to be local Boston Crosstown. Okay. Now, uh, I need to get this to come in, and I'm going to end up with a sharp bend over there. Uh, but if I back this up just a trifle and, you know, uh, mess with some roads. Right? Yep, that's, uh, that's good there. Uh, but you want to build tracks, not roads. Yep. Okay. Uh, now, uh, you're coming out on the closest one, which is here. So you're gonna let's just see what it wants to do if I just uh, wang it over there. You know what? That's okay. And a cutting there. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put a cutting there. Uh, good. Okay. Uh, we'll take it now. Uh, bang another track through. And now the cutting doesn't look so uh, uh, egregious. 
Uh, right, so I'm going to come around like this and put another track here. And right, and just like that, we have a track all the way through. Now, uh, what I need to do is bang in a bunch of signals uh, and fix the road. Right, okay, you're going to fix the road first, of course. Well, yeah, then I know where the level crossings are, and I can avoid them with the signals. Ah, this, uh, this makes some sense then. Okay, now, uh, one-way signal. Uh, if you're wondering why I use one-way signals, uh, it's because then uh, I know that trains won't accidentally be going the wrong way down a track. I'll get a broken route, a broken line, and know that I have something I need to fix. Uh, whereas if I use the two-way signals, the game will just route around uh, the uh, bad signals and just drive right through them, and then I don't know that I put a signal in backwards or something. Uh, and, you, and you might think that that's uh, rather a uh, pointless reason, uh, but uh, it also uh, means that I don't... Uh, I don't have uh, trains suddenly going in a weird direction somewhere unexpectedly. Uh, say, uh, taking a path that I'm not expecting them to take. And that uh, that's worth something to me. Uh, and plus, I think the uh, one-way signal icon is a little less annoying. Uh, but that's not the big reason. Uh, anyway, uh, th 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 that's why I put one-way signals, because then I know that uh, I'm not going to get a random uh, line decide to go down the wrong track just because there's a piece of track missing somewhere uh, and then not noticing it. Uh, you're really spacing these signals out, you know. Yeah, well, I'm not going to be running a thousand trains down this line either. Uh, it's not going to be shared or anything like that. And it's basically flat, so the trains are just going to be motoring. Uh, well, you know, that is a good point. Ah, we've got our big uh, mountain tunnel here. Uh, right. Uh, okay. Oh, we're coming up on uh, our other uh, uh, crossover changeover point. Uh, right at, um, whatchamacallit, Torrance, right, and we're, uh, this is the last stretch to uh, Fort Lauderdale. Uh, once I get this all plumbed in, uh, I will uh, uh, fling some trains up it and uh, ride one of them, and then we can see just what it looks like. Uh, and then I think that'll be enough for this particular part. And then uh, the next part will be working on the remainder of the towns on the map. Uh, because I really do want to get absolutely everything uh, linked together. And, uh, you know, passenger-wise. Uh, anyway. Right, okay. So that's the uh, signals all plumbed in. Now... Uh, we need to buy some trains. Now, uh, we're still in the steam age. Uh, what uh, what trains do I have? Well, I have the Mogul, which is the fastest one I've got. Okay, so we'll use the Mogul. And the Bolt only does 60. Clear Story does 80. So I guess I'm using the Clear Story. Okay, two, three. I'll put four on there. And uh, I'm thinking uh, we've got Torrance, uh, Winston-Salem, Boston. Uh, is there uh, more than, than that? Torrance uh, and uh, Hampton. No. And Wilmington. Right, so we've got, I got four stops there, so I'm going to, so five stops in total, and I'm going to have a couple other trains needed, so 
8. Phi. Uh, right, okay. And this is going to go on a new line that goes here. And then here. And then here. And then here. And then way over here. And then back again. Right. Now, uh, people uh, have, you know, are always uh, complaining in the uh, forums and so on that you should be doing point-to-point -point links instead of uh, these multi-hop ones. Well, the reason I don't do that is that's too many lines to fiddle with. It, it's just uh, too much uh, hassle. And I'm going to call this the Winston-Salem main line. Okay. No, that's not what I wanted. Um, right, so uh, line one. This is going to be inner city rail, Winston-Salem main line. Okay, now what's this whining about? Train 71. What? Why the blazes is it doing that? They really need to fix platform uh, selection when launching trains. Because seriously, it doesn't make any bloody sense what it does. Now, I suppose I can get that fixed by just... Uh, uh, temporarily uh, building one of these. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll temporarily build one of those and uh, reverse that. Now, uh, okay, that one's going to the right platform. Right. So, why did that one go to the wrong platform? Oh, is it because uh, I was doing it as a new line and it had picked the wrong plat? No, it wouldn't have because the other two were in use. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. I, I, I don't get it. But, uh, you know, I... The game's been doing that, and uh, it used to just do that sort of thing really bad on, uh, you know, launching uh, uh, duplicate trains or whatever. But for whatever reason, it uh, I've been tripping on this a lot uh, in the in these uh, games. Uh, right. I close that. Uh, Okay, so now once the uh, last one of these trains launches, like it's a rocket or something, uh, yeah. I'll uh, remove this and, uh, well, I think I can remove it now, actually. Uh, I think the rest of them are going to launch properly. Okay. Yeah, because that is the last one. No, it's not. Uh, I think that's getting close to the last one, I think. Um, yeah, once these trains space out, it'll be better. Okay, that's that one. Yeah, okay, so that's going to be the last train to launch here. Right, uh, so... Uh, yeah, this is, I'm not going to do any more construction work in this episode, so uh, if you, uh, you know, if you don't, if you're not interested in riding a train for a while, uh, you know, you can tune out now. Uh, but if riding trains is your thing, well, you know, stick with it. Uh, maybe turn down the volume so you don't have to listen to me rambling, but otherwise, yeah, uh, it's... Uh, there's nothing uh, particularly of substance following unless there's some egregious uh, 
lump or something in the track. Uh, so I'm going to up tempo this. And off we go. So I'm going to try and be quiet for most of this here. Just just enjoy the uh, the ride. Oh, who am I kidding? Uh, yeah, so that's the uh, uphill bit uh, coming up to the bridge. Uh, and we're just uh, rolling along here. Oh, look, autosave. I really should turn that off or lengthen the time on it. Right. Those doesn't look half bad coming up around the mountain here. Oh, right. There's, I put a road under the tracks there. Okay, we're coming up on Torrance. I see there's passengers waiting to go the other way. That's a good sign. Okay, so this doesn't look half bad. You know, I think this line is more interesting than most of the other ones on this map, mostly because it actually goes through and around the terrain a bit. It's not just a simple, oh look, we can just build flat rails in the valley thing. Yeah, it's coming through here, you know, it's just nice wilderness, uh, just uh, rolling along with egregious rocks that look hollow, because they are. If I cared, I'd come along here and, uh, you know, blow most of those up. Uh, this should be, what, Wilmington? Yep, Wilmington. And there's even more passengers waiting to go the other way, so that's, again, a good sign. You know, a thing about uh, level crossings in Transport Fever 2 is uh, they tend not to be as nasty as in uh, Transport Fever, uh, you know, the predecessor. Uh, but I have found that if you have a multi-track crossing, you really want to bulldoze the road, build your tracks, then put the road back. Okay, this should be, what, Winston-Salem? And we should be starting to encounter uh, oncoming trains on this leg. Since we're at the back of the pack. Uh, we, uh, we could see the previous train ahead of us there just pulling up the tunnel when we arrived. So I wouldn't be surprised to encounter an adverse signal along here. Oh, there's an oncoming train. again, the trains are all going to be moving at speed, so maybe not. And they all got spaced out by a load time at the start, so well, perhaps not on the adverse signaling, at least not until the last block, maybe. Oh, no, it, uh, it, it, uh, showed, uh, clear. Yeah, that one shows clear, too.
Ah, here we go. There's a... We're catching up to the train. Now, of course, the blocks aren't all even lengths, and that's part of it. Uh, you know, that's something that would be nice to have in the game as well, is a way to automatically place signals every X distance along a, a, a string of track. Uh, yeah, this is... Uh, this, these delays here are just due to the size of the blocks and uh, the fact that I launched eight trains all at once. Okay, so now we're coming around into Boston. It's, this line actually looks okay. I think I'm okay with this one. I'm actually happy with this one. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that's... Uh, that's a pretty good uh, setup. Now, this doesn't look half bad either. I'm kind of glad I went with a terminus station here. Uh, right. Uh, this will look better when there's uh, more lines going out of the station heading off along the map. Right, so uh, coming back this way, uh, probably be a little bit less uh, bunching up. Uh, we're probably not going to catch anybody until the other end of the line again. Right. So I don't think there's necessarily any reason to uh, ride this all the way back. Uh, but, you know, I, I want to see the approach to Winston-Salem from out of the tunnels. Yeah, I think this is the last tunnel. I think. No, it's not. There's one more. I think. Right, uh, yeah, I think this is the big one. Is it? I think so. Right, okay, yeah, that... Uh, that's kind of cool. Okay, uh, well, anyway, uh, that's all for this part. Uh, just so everyone knows, I'm recording this on Wednesday, so uh, it's been a few days by the time you see this. So uh, if you have any suggestions or whatever, hey, leave a comment or something. But otherwise, you know, watch or not as you see fit, and uh, see you back next time.